Hey, how's it going all you guys? This is uh, John O here with Old Tree Outfitters. Thanks for checking out another video on what's sold on eBay. So I don't have the total of the numbers. I just picked a couple. These are the last two days, some of the better sales. Uh, I did think I had got about 20 sales today and we had about 13 yesterday. So let's go over these sales and check out what kind of stuff sells on eBay as far as used clothing goes. So we got a Patagonia lightweight hoodie. Had some damage and some fading, so I got, you know, 20 bucks for it. Here's a um, vintage style Minnesota Timberwolves. Kind of a nice look to it. Got 27 bucks on that full price, which is very nice. It's not an actual vintage one. It's kind of a vintage style. Had a nice look to it. Here's an Adidas jacket. Uh, FC Bayer Munchen, Munchen. I don't know. Somebody can make fun of me for that. Uh, 36 bucks on the track jacket Adidas. Uh, Tommy Hilfiger's is an older one, nothing big. Uh, Athleta, I, I do like Athleta. Got probably 20 bucks on that top. Here's one that sold almost immediately. Um, Shallot at CC sweater, I guess. Um, it just had a nice style, one pocket. Got around uh, 29 bucks or something on that. Here's another pair of those True Work pants. I found, I, I found six of them and they had some messed up parts of them too. And I've sold uh, five of the six, so that's definitely a lookout for brand, that true work. Uh, this one I was really happy about, um, just a really nice Pima cotton sweater dress, I would call these, with a nice print. Um, and I think I got 30 some bucks out of that in just about one day. The brand is uh, Tory Burch. There's a Nike Jordan hoodie, kind of a pretty nice. Uh, there weren't too many like it. I priced them, priced it a little high. I think I got like 40, 50 bucks for it. Here's a Nike on field youth jersey, New York Giants, 37 bucks full price. Can't complain. Lululemon, this one sold in a few days. Hoodie, no, sorry, not a hoodie, sweatshirt. Um, I found a few of these and they were like, kind of like uh, had orange theory on them too. See if you see that right there. So I don't know, and that didn't seem to matter to the people because they, I think the per same person that bought those also bought these and there was another orange there. So that's uh, so there's the um, sweatshirts, French Terry sweatshirt and the shorts, both Lululemon. All right, we got a bulwark. I've been telling you guys about the fire resistant stuff is always pretty good bulwark. I just bought this as well, sold almost immediately for $37. Uh, bought this as well just the other day, sold uh, pretty instantaneously. It seems like if it, if it doesn't sell instantly for me, it doesn't, doesn't sell at all. Um, and these are a pair of Nike basketball shorts. Keep an eye out for that symbol there. Uh, that's the Kobe Bryant symbol. So anything with that symbol on it, might want to look up. Here's a band shirt, Imagine Dragons, 12 bucks on that on sale, down from 15. Patagonia basic shirt, probably got 10 bucks. Here's a nice Patagonia romper, jumper, however you want to call it. 72 bucks on that, so keep an eye out for these Patagonia rompers. A nice hat, just a reminder that it's summer's coming up, so these hats and t-shirts are going to start selling a little better. 17 bucks on the hat. Here's a uh, Chicago Blackhawks jersey, 57 bucks on that. Uh, Polo, Ralph Lauren. Uh, let's see, flannel shirt. Cl Regent, fit, Regent classic fit. So this is kind of like a dress shirt. Kind of a heavy cotton, 24 bucks on that. Uh, here's a vintage Mickey Mouse, um, you know, coming out of the pocket there. I think I got 20 bucks on that. All right. Uh, Grimici. This is a good brand, guys. So keep an eye out for this Grimici. Um, and the that's the little symbol there. Little, like guy with a hand for a head. Uh, so check out that. I did get a few of these pants. I've sold a, a, one or two of them already. And they're very interesting. Kind of like... Uh, jogger they're not joggers but they're canvas pull pull on pants they're kind of weird got like 40 bucks for those uh well i wanted to keep this one on because this was a di um, a uh, vintage ultra fleece with nothing on it so a lot of times these uh these vintage ones dead stock or whatever is what they call them um, they might be worth looking up because a lot of people will put their own screen print on like a vintage uh, sweatshirt or whatever so 27 dollars on that Here's a Abercrombie and Finch. I've been doing okay with Abercrombie, so keep an eye out for that. Um, just a 
crew neck sweatshirt, 20 some bucks. Here's um, some nice camo shorts, nothing crazy on the brand. I don't think I'd, it's a bolo brand. Basically, I did these ones based on style. Probably got 20 bucks on them. This is an L.L. Bean, and I guess they do, it's like a combination, Katahinden, Katahinden, Ironwork. Someone can tell me how to pronounce that in the comments. Um, and this one sold for 37 bucks in probably two weeks. Here we got a uh, American Eagle jacket, kind of a military style. Uh, I say garment dyed, and when it's like that, 37 bucks on the American Eagle. And I don't really get American Eagle. Don't necessarily pick up a bunch of American Eagle. Certain things, I guess, sell. Here's a WWE shirt, Shawn Michaels, Heartbreak Kid. Had a few spots, oops, sorry. 27 bucks on that. All right, Carhartt Henley shirt, uh, just a standard one. I didn't get too much out of it, 10 bucks, but they do sell. And here's a Peloton jersey, reversible, had the tags on it, so I got like 30 bucks for that. This is Cool Pants, uh, Revolt Pants, probably got 40, 40, 35, 40 bucks on those. Cool's a good brand, we all know that. This is American Fighter. It's actually not that good of a brand. If you're looking for uh, good brands, you should, like, as far as this goes, look for, look for MMA Elite. MMA Elite, I'm telling you, is probably one of the hottest things right now. So if you find any MMA Elite, you know, it should be pretty good. But this is uh, American Fighter, not as good. I wouldn't be on the lookout for it, but I sold two at the same time. Uh, I didn't get 47 bucks. I don't know why it says that. I'm pretty sure I got, like, maybe half of that or 30 bucks or something. Oops. Oh, is that it? All right, that was the last one. So, thank you guys for watching. If you find this information useful, please consider subscribing. Ask any questions or comments that you may have. Um, I'm, I answer all the comments, so just let me know. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to try to help you along the way. I'm only um, a year and a half, two, almost two years into this myself, so I'm learning too, and maybe we can learn from each other. So I really appreciate you guys watching, and until the next video, we will see you again.